Well, those, wa those wheels are in the water. Those wheels are in the water. He's gonna get out of the truck right now. Oh, he's slipping. He can't get out. Oh, he's done. Let's see what is going on right here. The mistake has been made. Oh, the ranger saved them. The ranger saved them, guys. Save them a hundred percent. That's what they're there for, guys. I see a little situation and they're like, hey, you don't want to end up on the chit show, my friend. Yeah, guys, you see, he's he's already like, uh, he's at a, first of all, he's at a disadvantage right now. He's at a disadvantage because he's got a lot of that seaweed on the ramp and uh, damn, right here, I won't be able to get the, the, the shot of the bloop, 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 bloop. Okay. He's telling him, giving him some advice. He's spinning his wheels. I can see, I can see the, the splashing of the water. Oh boy. Oh man, this is not gonna be good. This is not looking good, my friends. Bro, just get as many people and pull that as far as you can and get that boat off and unhooked before you have low tide guys it's getting lower and you know what i say low tide is coming and that's when the chit show really happens but for now for now um there you go look that's what you gotta do you gotta get the boat out dude throw yourself in on the water and push the boat from the, from the bow back because that that truck is oh and look and and Wilma the manatee just showed up guys let me tell you something this this might this might be a problem this might be a problem my friends this might be a problem my friends all right so we have we have another problem over here low tide is coming wait for it oh boy these are the epic mistakes that you don't do at a boat ramp my friend this is i, I mean you can't trust you can't trust your 4x4. Four four. All right, he's got the brake on. Is he able to get her out? Oh my goodness. No, oh, don't shot kill us, my friends. All right. Um, oh, he's getting out. He's getting out. He's going to see how bad he is. All right, guys, we have, we have multiple things going on here. Damn. We got a flat spot, but this guy is in the water as well. Not you, guy. Sapika. All right. Um. Oh no! Am I? Am I? Am I doing a prediction, guys? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Oh no! No, anything but Barcelo music right now. Not at this time. All right. So. Since there's a lot of seaweed at the ramp, 
this is where the mistake can happen. He needs to have his foot on the brake and then press the gas forward while he's on drive. If he does not do that and he just goes a little sliver back, the wheel is going to slide and uh, boop, boop, boop. This guy's in the same predicament right now. Probably just as bad, if not worse. And, uh, but, but in all fairness, okay, he's, he's pulling out some. Um, there he goes, he's, he's, he's getting out. He's getting out. The problem is that the trailer is not adjusted right. It doesn't look like the trailer is adjusted right. And they're struggling, guys. They're struggling. There's boats coming out. These people have been here for a while. Damn, I got a horse fly that just hit me in the bottom lip. Damn it. All right, well, back to regularly scheduled programming. These guys right here, not looking good, guys. Uh-oh. This man right now, you know that saying that says, and at this moment he knew he done what? fill in the blank right there. Two captain is. All right, guys, back to regularly scheduled programming. Um, all right, this guy is realizing that he's in a world of hurt. Oh man, this is gonna get wild. Oh wait, oh no, no, don't give. All right, so this guy's finally out. He, he came out, he's coming out, but the problem is the boat is still hooked up. The line is still hooked up. It's still hooked up, no. It's hooked up, he's gonna, he's gonna, oh, it, he didn't tie it. He didn't tie it right. Oh, and he's gonna still take out the dock. Oh my goodness, wait, back over here. Hold on guys, hold on guys. This, this might be the first two bloops in the same clip ever. Oh, this guy's gonna bust his ass for sure. 100%. Boop, 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 boop. All right, round two guys, round two for this guy. Oh, no wonder. He didn't take off his straps and uh, he didn't put his drain plug. His, oh no, no wonder why the boat wouldn't come off. Go again. Yeah, the straps were on, guys. You know, typically when you have your boat strapped to the trailer, if you put it in the water, it's not gonna move. Just saying. Damn, this guy just came out. He actually came out, but look where the boat is. Look where the boat is. There's no way, there's no way. The boat is half on the trailer. Wow, this is, let me tell you something, guys. My name is Alfred Montaner. I'm not just cute, I'm not just hot, I'm 6'5", 225, ripped, shredded, Mr. Olympian. In uh, 19, uh, I mean 20, what year should I say, 2018, 2018, look me up guys, Alfred Montaner, Olympian. I'm just kidding, my friends, we're here at the boat ramp. Poor girl, you know, she comes out, she, she doesn't want to sweat, and then they're making her sweat, guy. You shouldn't make your woman sweat while she's at the boat ramp, guys. He finally got it out. All right. Wow, that could have, that could have, that could have been so bad. But this guy's still, he's still coming in. Uh oh. I'm telling you guys, this is where the bloop 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 bloop, bloop happened. This might be a long clip, guys. I know, I know. But let's let's do what we do over here, and wait for it. Oh, 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 oh. We're getting a little shot killed, that's fine. A little aqua sport, that's okay. It's all right, my friends, to get shot killed every now and then. All right, they got it in the water. All right. This is, this is the challenge right here. The strap is off, so the boat should float. And he should be able to get it out of here. But the question is, will fate intervene and will we see? Bloop, 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 ah, open the window. The crocodile's next to you. He got it, he got it, guys. If it wasn't for the ranger. Ranger, good job, man. You're doing a good job. I don't care what everybody else says. You're doing a great job. 
back to regularly scheduled programming. We'll find a hydro sport that does something over here at the boat ramp. Poor thing over here in green is sweating. It's like, damn it. I just took a shower. It kind of got dicey there, guys. It kind of got dicey. Oh boy. Oh no, oh no, no, no. Don't give the other boat a problem. Oh no, he's gonna go back and forth. Oh no, the panic. The panic has ensued. Push off the boat pong. Back, forward, get a lawsuit, doesn't matter. Oh yeah. Oh, the stretch. Oh, boom, 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 boom. They did it, guys. They did it. And that's why you have to go on the boat with friends. Because friends don't let friends stretch without other friends. Damn it. What a waste of SD card, my friend. I'm sorry. I want to apologize. But look, if it makes you feel better, she didn't want to sweat. And she's sweating. And it's not my fault. It's the person who didn't launch the boat right. Oh, no! What happened? What happened? Que pasó, caballero? But you got some fish. Yeah, a little bit. And you got Captain Lance. I mean, that's like a two for one. <laughs> you, you guys got the most famous boat tow captain in the world. Oye, <laughs> Chariting, two. Hay un Chariting ya, bro, eh? All right, guys. <laughs> Welcome to the chit show, guys. Over here at Black Point Marina. That is the world's most famous towboat captain in the world. Um, captain Lance over here. Now, let me show you guys how this is done properly. Because we might see others that, you know, help out. And we call them Good Samaritans over here in the channel. They help, you know. I don't know, are Samaritans canceled in society nowadays? I don't, I don't even know, guys. Sometimes I might say things that are, you know, are uh, inappropriate nowadays, right? like, like man or woman. <laughs> oh, don't even get me started. Don't even get me started. All right, guys, when I said Chari Ting, that's a famous um, entertainer in the music, in the Spanish music realm. And she's always had like different color hair, mostly like fire blonde. But that's why, and we have, we have a, a, a Chari Ting, but this is, we're gonna give this guy Chari Ting too. I remember, I would never forget the day, guys. I'm gonna have to put him out there. You guys know Baby Fish Killer. He's a really good friend of mine. He used to be my best friend, um, but I've transferred. I've transferred his best friendship to, I don't know, I have to make something up. I want him to call me. So, you know, sometimes when you make him feel like they're not important, they call you and they're like, what do you mean? I'm your second best friend. Uh, I don't know. But he got into a phase, uh, like a lot of our friends did, you know? There's MDMA, not him, not him, but the people around at the time were all on MDMA and then what were, they were doing is they were painting their hair yellow, like, like yellow. And it was the funniest thing ever because he dyed his hair and honestly, I think, I think it lasted 24 hours. By the time that we ripped him to shreds as friends, because you know what good friends do to each other? Um, and it just didn't look good, right? So he's a little bit more tan, real, real fire blonde hair. It was just one of those things that your friends just rip you and you just don't, don't stop laughing. So I will ask Baby Fish Killer to see if he has a pick. And then we have friends of ours that actually did it and lost their hair because they didn't know what they were doing. And then they had to go bald for a minute. It's, it's so wild. I mean, yeah, but that was the pookie head stage. That's when the mix and uh, what was the other shadow lounge and old school. Um, that's when the, the night scene started in Miami, guys. What's going on? Where's the party? Where are you guys going? I'm not on that boat. What's going on? We'll see you later. <laughs> Bring me back some lobster. 
So yeah, the uh, MDMA craze here when it started was uh, crazy. And they would call it rolling. And it was the weirdest thing ever, guys. You know, I'm not really into drugs and I've never been into drugs, thank God. Um, I have never got into that phase, right? But I would see these people <laughs> and we would go to the mix and these people would be on MDMA and you see grown ass men just be like, are you all right, man? Oh man. And you see them massaging each other on their shoulders. Oh, that's great, bro. Oh man, don't stop. And you see their eyes just rolling back. It was the weirdest. It was the weirdest time in Miami. I'm sure it still happens. I'm sure it still happens. And uh, nowadays, who knows what kind of drugs are out there in the clubs and all the crazy stuff that are in the... But it, yeah, it was, it was some wild times um, when that started. What happened was the mix started in South Beach on Washington Avenue. And those that watch my walking tours will know what I'm talking about. Um, Washington Avenue, around maybe 10th or 11th on Washington Avenue. And then the mix would start around three in the morning. That's when that club started. So a lot of the people that left the clubs, like the bartenders that wanted, they wanted a party, they would go to the after hours and that was the mix. And then guess what? The mix closed because they did some ordinance. You know, the beach always just tries to shut everything down. You know, they'll make an ordinance for anything. And um, then they couldn't go ahead and serve or sell liquor after a certain time. So the owner of the mix said, all right, fine. I'm going to go one bridge over and he opened up a place called Space. And now you guys know the story of how um, Space happened. And then all the other clubs around there. Now you have 11, which is right next to it. But if you go to the original Space, it's not, it's not where it was. It was a smaller club and then eventually they bought the big club. And now you have 11 in there and probably some other ones there as well so wow you guys got a perfect doc some pookie head history over here for drug uh, addicts and uh, mdma uh, people and that's what happened and it was it was crazy it was a crazy time over here and then you had liquid madonna's uh liquid uh, i think she owned liquid uh, which was right next to the cameo so there's so much. I mean, it's not the same, guys. It's a big difference and big uh, scene now. Kids are doing a lot of different things when they hang out. What is this? Man, this is going to be its own video. How crazy is that? Yeah, it's funny because you guys, especially local people my age, be like, yeah, man, I used to go to Warsaw, bro. And Warsaw was another club that a lot of pretty boys would attend. And you had your all, you had your all types of clubs. You had amnesia, would had foam parties. Imagine going to a foam party with, you know, I think now they call it story. That's what amnesia used to be. Now they call it story. And, uh, but those foam parties were wild. Crazy, crazy, crazy. They had to stop it because imagine, you, you know, you got foam everywhere. You know, you got people inebriated. Chicho in the house. What's, up, man? What's going on? Uh, Where are you guys coming in? Barbecue sauce. Oh, you left it slipping. Nice to see you, man. Take care, bro. I like your Thank you. Listen, bring me at least five more. I, I mean, it's been slow. It's been a slow week for me. Yeah, it's looking like a busy day. So. Good. We'll be here. As long as it's not me. <laughs> Look at this little bass boat. So yeah, guys. Um, lots and lots of history down here. And uh, like I was saying, they had to stop the amnesia of phone parties at the time because, you know, think about it. You know, you got people shoulder, you know, you, there's foam all the way to your shoulders, right? So if you're like 5'1", you're already, you know, s s sucking uh, uh, foam. But the biggest problem that they were having, I mean, they wouldn't say this or admit to this at the time, obviously. 
but obviously you know there was foam you can't see who's next to you and all of a sudden you had wandering hands within the foam and uh, that was a huge problem huge liability and uh, understandably they stopped it as young people at the time people were like wow we just want to have fun but they don't say why but along the way people got in, in situations that were obviously a problem so that ended in uh, it ended uh, real quick um, they didn't they they shut that down I don't know and then think about it there would be fights because of that you know oh somebody touched me here and this and that and all of a sudden the boyfriend would be like did you touch this? And then it was the wrong dude. And then all of a sudden, some, somebody gets sucker punched. He had nothing to do with it. He was roofied out on pookie heads and pookie pills. And before you know it, it was a chit show. Oh no! Let me tell you guys. <sighs> I'm gonna end story time with there. It's crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed that clip because that was probably a long clip. Uh, that wasn't even supposed to be a video, but it was. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. At least you know a little bit of a uh, MDMA history over here in Miami and uh, hopefully you young kids don't fall into that trap because all it's going to do is uh, mess up your life. Alfred Montan are making a scene as always. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Amazingness, that's what we do. Boom!